Hi, it's John from Android Addicts, and today we're going to be looking at downgrading our Galaxy S10 here from Android 10 back down to Android 9 Pi. So this won't actually trigger Nox if, as long as you flash the correct version of the firmware. Now to make sure that you get the right one, go to About Phone and make sure you get the correct one from your model number here. So mine is an SM G975F. I've put a link to the SAM mobile website where you can download the firmware from. This one is the BTU version, which means it is completely factory uh, open and unlocked. Now to confirm the version, you can see here my service provider, BTU, 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 BTU. So I've got the BTU version downloaded and you'll just have a quick look at that file on the PC before we flash it. Okay, so we can see here the Samsung Smart Switch. As you can see, I have no option to downgrade on version 10 and I just don't get the option. I can't do emergency software recovery. There's no tab appearing asking me to downgrade the firmware, which I've seen in older versions. So I have no other choice but to downgrade to the official stock version. Android 9 by myself. So I'm going to close off Smart Switch, we don't need that. Bear in mind you should back up your phone before you do anything just to make sure you've got a backup of all your data. Now here we have the files you will need for the downgrade. So we've got Odin version 3.13.1. This is the software that you need to actually connect to your phone and downgrade it. And we have the actual firmware file here. This is the BTU version for my phone, United Kingdom. 5.2 gigabytes in size, and it took hours to download. It really did, um, probably about five or six hours. Now, if you use the free connection on Sun Mobile, that's what you can expect. So what I would suggest is you start downloading this as soon as you watch this video, once you've got the right version, and then hopefully, in a few hours you will have the firmware downloaded. Okay, so I've just switched back to the uh, S8 recording here just so you can see what I'm gonna do here. So the phone's plugged in. I'm gonna load up Odin. We're gonna right click and we're gonna run it as administrator. Click on yes. Please make sure you download the appropriate binary and version for your model, yep. Okay, so here we have Odin on the screen and we have our phone. Now, the phone has been detected, but we need to make sure that the phone is in the correct mode before we can flash the firmware. So what you need to do on your phone is you need to hold down the volume down, the Bixby button, and turn it on by, pressing, uh, by plugging in the USB cable, and that will get it into the download mode. So I'm gonna just run through those steps and we'll see how we do it. Right, so to get into the download mode, let's Power down our phone. Give it a few seconds to make sure that the phone has completely powered off. And now we're gonna hold down the volume down, the power button, uh, the Bixby button. So volume down, Bixby. So I'm gonna use my middle finger here, my index finger here. My thumb isn't actually doing anything. It's not on the power button at all. It's just these two. And then you plug in the USB cable, which is attached to your PC. Right, if you get this message, you have not done it correctly. So unplug and wait for the phone to turn off. It is a bit fiddly. Um, you need to make sure they're fully depressed. So we're going to try again. And this time we have done it successfully. So here you can see the warning message. Now we're gonna press the volume up to continue. That will go into the download mode and you should hear your PC detect the phone again. So we can see here 
the different details here. Okay, we're going to switch back to the PC now and we're going to continue with the downgrade. Right, so your phone or Odin should have detected your phone, as we can see here. COM6, that is our phone. It's on this sort of slightly light blue uh, little section here. If your phone isn't detected, you really need to make sure that your computer has got the correct drivers. So here we can see the Samsung mobile USB composite device. As long as that is showing up, you should be good to go. Okay, I'm going to just move that to the side and we're going to go back to our downgrade folder here. And this is the firmware file that I downloaded. It's been compressed. So inside here, if we double click on here, you'll see we have five items. What I'm going to do is click extract all and click extract. Okay, once the files have extracted, go into the folder where you extracted them. And we now need to link the files here, the first four, to the respective locations in Odin. So we see we have a BL here. We're gonna link that to the BL file. We have an AP to the AP, CP to the CP, and CSC to the CSC. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. Okay. So we're going to select the BL file, click on open, wait for this to finish successfully and then we'll move on to the next file which is AP. So we're going to select the AP file here to coincide with that. This one takes a bit longer as it's the largest file. It's basically just checking that the file is okay so just bear with it and now we're going to select our cp file and finally we're going to select our csc file Okay, once you've got all the files loaded in, you can forget about this one. What you're gonna to want to do is click on options here, and then we're gonna untick auto reboot. Okay, now click back on the log, and we're ready to begin. Okay, let's go for it and see what happens. I'm gonna put the phone in the corner of the screen so you can just watch the progress on the phone as well. But what we are gonna be watching mainly is here in Odin. So let's minimize this and begin the downgrade. Okay, so once the flashing has finished, what we're going to want to do is unplug the phone from the USB cable. Okay, so once the USB cable has been disconnected, we're going to hold down the volume down and the power key for seven seconds to reboot the phone. Okay, so that only took a couple of minutes actually. It was pretty quick. So I'm just gonna go through the initial setup. Okay, we're just gonna go into the settings and confirm we are back on Android 9 Pi. You can see here we're on Android 9 Pi. Security patch from November. Okay, so just to confirm that Nox hasn't been tripped, I'm going to just restart the phone and go back into download mode. Let's 
So again, this is volume down Bixby button and the USB cable, which I'm just gonna grab. And the warranty void is still zero. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. I'm not 100% sure why I couldn't downgrade through a Samsung smart switch, but I know other people have had the same issue. So I hope this will help those people out uh, like it has helped me out. I'm now back on Android 9 Pie, which is more stable and has less issues. And until Android 10 comes out officially with all the bugs and things ironed out, I'm gonna be sticking with Android 9 Pie. So if you like the video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. It's much appreciated. And I will see you again in the next video.